Hey guys, this is the Teabagger again with another uh, video for you guys, and I've decided um, to make this kind of my tech kit kind of world, and I'm just going to have loads of machines like around this village. I reckon that would be pretty awesome. So now I'm going to show you um, some stuff from Equivalent Exchange. So I'm going to get myself a um, the kind of the basis for everything in Equivalent Exchange, which is kind of a magic mod and it shows you I mean it doesn't show you, it lets you change things from other things so you're, this is just a basic tutorial on it so you want a philosopher's stone which is made with um, where is it, there it is oh no, bleh, 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 where is it, there it is it's made with glowstone in each corner uh, a diamond in the middle and kind of like redstone or whatever else so it is a bit expensive. Some people may say because it uses one diamond, but I don't. I don't really think so. So you, if you press V on your keyboard, it charges it up when it's fully green. If you uh, changed all that um, cobble into stone, so I can change the whole house all around. Look, so instead of being cobble, it's stone, which I think is a lot nicer. And uh, yeah, so I'm changing all the um, kind of pathing to um, to uh, from gravel to sandstone, uh, which is nice. Uh, I much prefer sandstone to gravel. Um, and as you can see, my uh, it's not running out like the um, the bar for um, doesn't work on steps. The um, changing the type of wood. Uh, the bar um, down here this bar, it's not running out but that's because I'm on creative. So um, you can't change stairs, you can change this kind of wood. See what this looks like. So yeah, can't change that kind of wood. But I think you can, I just think don't think it's working for me. And um so I just, uh um set it to dawn. Um okay so I've got my philosopher's stone and with the philosopher's stone you can change you know cobble to stone and it look it, it is good it is really good it is very helpful it look makes things look a lot nicer and i'm changing as you can probably see i'm changing the grass um, sand to grass which is looking pretty ugly but still it's it's better than having sand everywhere okay so here is oh and wasn't that must have been sandstone there Okay. Anyway, so I've, ch um, I've changed this up, and the philosopher's stone all well, uh, well and good. But uh, you're gonna be wanting mainly to make something called covalent dust. Um, for this, I am going to go off of creative and just give me the items for it. So you're going to want um, for covalent dust. You're gonna want some cobblestone. Uh, not double cobblestone, so you want cobblestone, oh got that from the other video um, some cobblestone and some um, uh, coal, so I'm just, oh no charcoal so you don't want coal, you want charcoal, so you want one piece of charcoal so you, um, I'm going to get myself a crafting table as well um, if I can find them, there, there you go so in a crafting table you'll have cobblestone everywhere other than the bottom right corner and it makes you some green covalence dust and now with covalence dust if I give myself um, some sticks you can um, sticks, where are sticks? there ain't no sticks in the game uh, I'll just make some so with covalence dust you can um, do this and make a divining rod a divining rod, uh, the first tier divining rod, that's the first tier covalence dust. It, um, you press G and it tells 3x3x3, three by three by, by three. so 3, so, so here I'm standing in the middle, 3x3, three three. so 3x3 three three, and then 3 down. It'll tell you, the, like, the round value is about wrong, like the suggests a value of 1, so that's the kind of um, average. 1 uh, is... Um, like sand, stone, grass, cobble, wood, any of that, that's all one. 
So um, if I've still got my quarry going, and if I go down here a sec, and I use it on this, it says nine, and that is because this the um, iron. If I give myself some iron ore, um, it is it costs it um, has a larger value by like a lot. If I just make myself creative, so if I make a three by, um, hold on. I might just turn this off a second. I just break that because I don't need it now. Uh, so if I make a three by three, uh, three high, it will show you the average um, with this. So, so that's two high, isn't it? Yeah, two high. So you want it three high, and it will make it will show the if you stand in the middle, click on this. 192. So one iron ore is a hundred vers EE value, which is equivalent exchange of 192. Um, if I show you gold, which is more expensive, um, it will give me one two three one two three one two three. Um, it'll it'll give me a higher value. So if I put it here around 1000 so each ore is 1536 and I think diamond is 8000 so you kind of do the math if you know what I mean so um, so I've got that and I've got my divining rod and now if I just go back to my crafting table yep so I've got my uh, that and I want some iron ingot so I want one iron ingot and so one iron ingot where is it so one iron ingot and one redstone. This is the next one I'll get into. So you want to put that there, and it makes um, cyan kind of color covalent dust. This is the next tier up. So you just get your divining rod and you stick it in there, and you make it um, make it into the next tier. So you go grab it, and you press. If you press G, it changes the range. So instead of three by three by three. Now it does 16 by 3 by 3. And this is best, and it has the average value being around 5, and the best found value, which is 85 for me. So it's much the same. And then to get your last tier of um, uh, prevalence dust, you want a diamond and a piece of coal. So you want your diamond and your coal, and your third tier of prevalence dust. You do much the same as the second, and you do that. So you've got your divining rod now, uh, and this this has 60, 64 by 3 by 3, so it can really tell you. So the best find is only 256. If I move over to here, 512 and then 256. If I move to here, 512, two, uh, 256, and then 8192, which is diamond. So diamond is going to be in this area just down. So it's a lot easier way of finding diamond. And if you just press G, you can change the range. Um, and it shows you first, second, and third. So you've got all this now, and you're gonna want to make um, something very useful in the game, which is, um, if I find it, uh, a alchemy chest, alchemist chest. I think it's called alchemical chest. Okay. So you want three the in order the three covalence dusts, uh, a diamond in the middle, a chest below, a uh, stone. It, under the armpits of the uh, covalence dust and ingots either side of the chest. So I'm going to give myself um, some of that stuff. So I want stone first, I guess. So you want two of those. Um, you want. I've got my covalence dust. I want a chest now. So I want my chest. Um, um, I need to get my iron ingots and my diamond. So and two iron ingots. So the iron ingots here, uh, the diamond in the middle, put the covalence dust in, and then you want to get the stone, and finally the chest. So here you go, the alchemist, uh, alchemical chest, alchemical chest. <laughs> so here it is, you place it down, it looks somewhat like an ender chest in 1.3, and it has four times the size of a double chest, so a double chest will be just, just that, I think just that and it has four times the size okay so you can store a lot in there but I don't um, I want I, I 
don't want that. It's very useful to have, and you might want to make another one later. But I want to make something even better. So I'm going to be wanting to make one of these. Uh, an alchemy, alch alchemy bag. Yeah, <laughs> finally said it. So I want to go recipe mode. This is how you make one. So you make three of the best covalence dust up the top. Wool of your choosing, uh, and an, the alchemy chest, alchemical chest in the middle. I want a um, purple alchem al alchemical bag, uh, so I'm going to get some purple wool. Um, the purple wool is right there. So I need, um, so I need uh, how many of those? Five. So I need five of these. Oh, well, one, two, three, four, five, and there you go. So in the chest, uh, in the crafting table, you want to put this, and then the five um, wool, and then the three best covalence dust. And I have a purple alchemy bag. And now the alchemy bag is exactly the same as the alchemical chest, it's just it's in your inventory. So if you go mining, you'll have an infinite, infinite supply of. Um, kind of space if you know what I mean. You won't need to come back for for a long time. So you've got the basic kind of stuff and he goes on to a bit more advanced, not too advanced, is a uh, talisman of repair. Now this I know how to make so I'm just going to stay on um, cheat mode. I remember it. <laughs> I keep forgetting things. That's a problem of mine. So you need two string and a piece of paper uh, which is right there. Um, or, or, and you need the conveyance dust. So you want that one there, that one there, that one there, and then you want that one there, that that one there, and that one there. You want the paper in the middle, and then the string on each side. Oh, maybe it's the um, other way. Um, yeah, there it is. It's the other way around. So the talisman of repair. Now this is very good because if you put it in a chest, it repairs anything in the chest. But if you put it in the alchemy um alchemy bag it does the same so I'm going to put my pick in there and you see it repaired it it's not normally that quick but I only broke one block so it's um, it's uh, it went quick with this so I just like keeping mine in there and there you go uh, so that's kind of the basic uh, alchemy uh, equivalent exchange and I think like a few more like build craft and industrial craft episodes then I'll put an advanced um, video on it but yeah, so thanks for watching guys, that was my equivalent exchange, basic equivalent exchange video um, for you guys. Uh, thanks for watching and um, peace out.